This is an easy change that fits a lot of rock tunes. Your first chord is an E5. That's an abbreviation for an E power chord. All you're going to do is just take your hand, put your thumb on the neck, and just let your hand hang. Don't do anything, and then just simply move your first finger over so that you're pressing down the fifth and the fourth strings. Your index finger will be slightly hyperextended, meaning bent backward. You don't want it rounded, you want it to hyperextend because that way you're getting plenty of clarity, plenty of leverage to get that fifth and fourth string clear. Now, your right hand has to be accurate because you're only going to strum three strings on this one. Then when you switch to the A5, everything moves up a string, up in terms of pitch, because you hear how as I play each string that's closer to the floor, the pitch goes higher. So when I say go up a string, it means up in pitch or down to the floor. So you just simply move that formation over one string and you play the fifth, fourth, and third strings. But we have to make sure that we get rid of that open E that was ringing from the previous E5. Listen to what happens if I don't get it out of there. Do you hear how it's muddy? Now listen. So it's easily accomplished by letting your thumb come over and deaden that sixth string. Now I also encourage you to practice playing this with a palm mute. That means you take the little finger side of your palm and lightly touch where the strings pass over the saddle back in the bridge. That gives you that cool rock sound.